All right, so we on day four or day five. I can't remember. I started last week, but I'm doing more factoring today. Um, I'm not going to really spend a lot of time explaining or lecturing for real. I'm just going to be pulling maybe about three problems and kind of talking my way as I walk through it. All right, so here we go. We are to factor 4x squared plus 36x plus 80. All right, 4x squared plus 36x plus 80. Yeah, so the first thing we're going to look at is the problem itself. And what I notice is I see a 4, 36, and 80. Every last one of those numbers are divisible by 4. All right, so 4 is the common factor. I'm showing this step where you actually see me divide those by 4. Remember, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I have a 1x squared. You don't have to put a 1 in front of it. But you can if you like. All right. Right here, I have a 36 divided by 4. That gives me a 9. And the x does come down, all right? So the x drops down. And then the last one is 80 divided by 4. That's 20. So that's the first step right there. You divided everything by 4, and it left us with a trinomial with smaller coefficients now. So now I take another look back into the parentheses. And remember, now that we have it in this format, this is like one of the most basic ways we start off factoring trinomials. You want to look at that number, which is a 20, and then pay attention to this number and its sign. So if I think about numbers that multiply to give me 20, you got 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is the one that makes the most sense because 4 plus 5 is 9. So I know I have to use a 4 and a 5. All right, so the easy part x squared that's easy x times x all right then i look at this 20 part we already determined we're going to use a four and a five so four five and both of them will be positive all right a positive times a positive a positive four times a positive five is a positive 20. a positive four plus a positive five is a positive nine and there are my factors. All right, so I hit check answer here. And when I look, look at what we have here. That's the exact same thing that I had by hand, all right? So that was my first example on factor. So right here, I have factor 9x squared plus 12x plus 3. All right, if we paid attention to that, the last example, the first thing you want to do is pay attention to all the numbers, and if they have something in common, that's where we start with what they have in common. All right, so 9, 12, and 3, everything is divisible by 3. All right, there it is. Everything is divisible by 3. Everything is divisible by 3. That's why my 3 is there. 9 divided by 3 is 3. X squared comes down. 4 divided by 3 is, excuse me, 12 divided by 3 is 4. That X comes down. And then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So that's why it looks just like that in those parentheses. This is going to be the first example where the leading coefficient or the first term isn't just a coefficient of 1. So in other words, this is the first example that I'm going to deal with instead of it being a 1 here or something that you don't see. It's a three here now. So we have to think about this slightly different. It's not harder, but you do have to pay attention to more detail now. Luckily, three is a prime number. So the only option I have is one times three. So I have an X times a three X. Because that's the only way I'm going to get three X to the second power is multiplying X times three X. Um... Now I can look at this number on the end, a 1. Once again, luckily, the only options I have is 1 times 1. So I do 1 and 1. Everything's positive, so I put a plus here and a plus there. And that should be it. Let's check the answer. Let's see. There it is. 
There it is. That's correct. I'm going to show you how we check by hand also. All right, so if we verify by hand, the two things that we have in parentheses, or my two factors in parentheses, is x plus 1 and then 3x plus 1. Over here, I have an x plus 1. Then over here, I have a 3x plus 1. So you list your factors out, one vertically, one horizontally. And don't forget... What we're going to be doing here is multiplying everything, all right? We're going to be multiplying everything together and placing them in boxes. All right, let's start with these two. 3x times x is 3x to the second power. Okay. Now we got this x times 1 is a 1x. So I'm going to write my 1x, and I'm going to make sure my sign is on there positive 1x. Now I'm looking at this 1 down here times that 3x, which is going to be 3x, and that's going to be a positive 3x. And now we have 1 times 1, which is a positive 1. So if you know how to multiply one thing together, right, you should be able to multiply four separate things together and place them in four separate boxes. Remember, um, what we're doing is we're stringing skills together when we're factoring. Don't look at this as one big old long problem. Just look at it as multiple steps that you know how to do at each step. All right, so 3x to the second power is on the front end, right? Plus 1 is on the end. These two combine to give you your number in the middle. All right. The middle term is where a lot of mistakes happen, getting that middle term correct. The front end is normally correct. The back end is normally correct. It's always that middle term. So that's why I'm trying to make sure you pay attention to the middle term now. Now we have one more thing to verify. Remember, we did factor a three out at the very beginning of the problem. We factored a three out. So when I'm verifying my work, and I take my two parentheses and multiply them together to get that, I cannot forget that I had a 3 at the very beginning. Now, if I start multiplying, I get 9x to the second power. Now, if I multiply these two together, I get a positive 12x. And then if I multiply those two together, I get a positive 3. Now, if I put a box around this, which is 9x to the second power plus 12x plus 3, my original problem should also say the same thing. So let's see. Let me clear this screen off. There it is. 9x to the second power plus 12x plus 3. Everything that we do in mathematics can be verified, all right? If you come to a solution, you can verify it and check it to make sure that your solution is actually the correct solution. Everything we do can be verified.